Look at it out there. It looks calm, doesn't it? It's actually swarming with microscopic life. You know, it's like my grandfather Jacques Cousteau used to say. Everyone always talks about fish and whales. Let's talk about phytoplankton. They're small. It's estimated that in every teaspoon of seawater, there's about 100,000 of them. But you need a microscope to see them. They're the unsung heroes of our ocean. More than half the oxygen in our atmosphere is thanks to phytoplankton. And today, we'll learn about two types. Let's talk about coccolithophores. Every day in the ocean, they're battling viruses and bacteria, and each time they die, they release a little puff of oxygen into the atmosphere. If you were to look down from space, you could see this immense battlefield full of trillions of their dead. Ever heard of the White Cliffs of Dover? Made up of dead coccolithophore skeletons. Romantic, isn't it? And now, dinoflagellates. These are responsible for bioluminescent waters, or glowing oceans. They're also responsible for blood-red tides. When dinoflagellates bloom, they turn the water a deep crimson red. These red tides are dangerous and responsible for loss of ocean and possibly human life. Phytoplankton giveth and taketh. <laughs>